Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sum Sum. Today I have a tutorial inspired by, of course, my school, Roll Tide, the University of Alabama. I call this my crimson cut crease and my crimson colored lips. I have inspiration because my first home game was last week and I did this look because I was like, I don't want to do a regular look. I want to do something like out of here, like super cute, super fun. But, um, you know, so if you want to know how to do this look, then keep on watching. It's so good to be back, guys. Like, that big break was dead. Wait, I have some decor. Uh huh. And today, I'm going to be doing the dang tutorial. I'm going to be starting out with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate, basically, the color of me. And I'm gonna be taking that on a small angled brush. I'm gonna be filling in these brows, baby. I just threw my freaking brush! It's truly, honestly, actually, literally, seriously. Why am I like this? To conceal them, I'm going to be using an oldie but goodie, and I'm going to be using my NYX Contour Conceal Correct Contour Deep Palette with all these beautiful concealer shades. I'm using the top right one right here. I'm going to clean up my brows with it using a Real Techniques English Brush. So I'm just going to clean up under the brow. Blend that out with the same brush. Just drag it down like so. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go back in with the concealer palette and a Real Techniques blending brush. But I love this for any like setting. I mean, priming your eyes. I just want to do. I'm gonna take this left hand column, middle color. I'm gonna put that all over my lid, as well as mixing it with the Sephora Bright Future concealer in. 14. I'm gonna mix these two together. This one's a really thick consistency and this one's a really liquidy one. And put it together, bada bing, bada boom, you got an eye primer. So let's do it. The first shade I'm going into um, with on my eyes is Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna work that in the crease, but um, getting ready for the cut crease. So I'm not gonna bring it down, I'm gonna bring it kind of out where it's. I'm going to deepen the crease with the Makeup Shayla Tarte Contour Palette. Right. Also going to go in with Cocoa Bear. I'm also going to deepen up the crease with the darkest shade in the palette. Blending is the key, especially when you're trying to do all these crazy colors. You just gotta keep on blending. To cut my crease, I'm gonna be using some concealer, but I always just, I really just pick any color. I don't really care. It doesn't really match me, but it's okay because shadow's gonna be going on top of it. So um, I'm using MAC. It's just out of my kit. So I'm using the MAC NW25 and a e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush and this is this powder to set my eyes. For the eyeshadow color, I'm going into my Skylark palette by Ellen Blair and I'm using the color Ember, it's a beautiful, um, like crimson -y, crimson, -y, like red, burgundy, it's super pretty. I'm gonna be putting that all over my eyes. Now 
Now I'm going to take a wipe and clean off the bottom and the edges. For my wing, I'm going to be using the uh, Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and I'm going to give myself a wing. I'm going to start by priming the face with um, Nivea Mint. Of course, I need a new primer because this is getting too uniform to me. Like, like I feel like I want something more, something new. Start working on my lashes while they're uh, so they can start drying. But the lashes I'm using are the Grand Glamour lashes by Vegas Nate. Okay, I'm gonna let those start drying. I'm gonna start working on my. Face makeup, um, my foundation I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. The shade I am in is uh, R520. And I'm going to apply that with one of my favorite brushes at the moment. It's the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And it's very comparable to Morphe. I love this brush. I really am not a fan of e.l.f. brushes. But this is amazing. It's new and out really outdid themselves. And I'm gonna work this into this. Just dot it all over at first. And then we can start blending it out. Now that our face is on, I'm just gonna go in with a um, brush and just lightly dust some translucent powder. So I don't look super shiny. For concealer, I'm going in with both of the LA Girl um, Cream Concealer in Fawn, and I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Deep Tan. To bronze um, and warm up my face, this looks crazy. I'm going to be using uh, Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Milk Chocolate Finish. And this is my baby. I got that Target over by my school. And I wanted like a bronzer, but I wasn't trying to drop like a bunch of money. This is really good, really good, and it's humongous. Like comparable to this is the size of Champagne Pop by um, Becca. Look how big it is. It's humongous. I'm taking this on a Sigma F10 brush. And I'm going to warm up my face with it. The blush I'm going to be using is Mary Kay's Bold Berry. I'm going to go back in the blazer under my eye. And the warm shade right here. These two go together. I'm going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. The lipstick I'm using is Diva by MAC. It's like the perfect, like, burgundy, like, perfect, perfect, perfect shade to represent Crimson Tide. Yep, yeah, this is the completed look. I, um, really like it. It's like the... Crimson cut wing, <gasps> cut wing, what the freak is that mean? Crimson cut crease and these crimson colored lips, um, roll tie.